Well folks, my name is Martina O'Neill and I work for the Marble Arch Caves UNESCO Global Geopark. Hello everybody, my name is Clarissa Beacom and I too work for the Marble Arch Caves UNESCO Global Geopark. And today we are currently at Maho Cliffs in the Loch Navarre Forest. So many of you guys might not actually know where the geopark is located. Now it covers a massive area of land, it stretches the whole way from Castle Colwell Forest in Lower Loch Earn, down West Fermanagh to Kulka Mountain in the middle and down West Cavan to Loch Easter. So within the geopark we've actually got over 50 sites for you guys to get out and explore today. So for those of you who aren't going to go on a plane this year for your holidays, we have decided to create for you your very own Geopark Activity Passport. Because as you know, there are now well over 50 sites within the Geopark that are waiting for you to get out there and explore. So go online to our website, download your passport and get yourselves out there and see what the Geopark has to offer. Why not check for signs of mammals along the Loch Ahor Fall? Why not stay in the grounds of Tully Castle? Or peek through the tree house at Ely Lodge Forest. Here I am beside this amazing waterfall that we can see flowing into the entrance of Paul Nagolan Cave in Balmore Forest. Or why not try skimming stones at the Loch McNean amenity area? And if that doesn't work, maybe just throw them in instead. So we're now here in Cavanburn Park where, amongst other things, you can build your very own prehistoric tomb. Alright guys, so we've now reached our final destination that we are going to show you today. But don't forget, we've only shown you a few of the sites that we have within the geopark and there are plenty more for you to go and explore. So get onto our website, download your very own activity passport and get completing their list of activities.